KJ. Back to Pooby, now to Ingram. Ingram back to Chapman. Chapman will pull the trigger for three. Good. He is fired up from three-point range. He is really heated up in the last few weeks. Holmes steps in. He'll drive to the lane. Kicks it out to Ingram with 18, now rather 13 on the shot clock. 10 on the shot clock. Chapman goes around the screen. Live pass to the baseline to Holmes. Holmes down the lane. Passes it down low to Eaton. Beautiful play with three on the shot clock. And Ramon Eaton on the board. Left side pass to Groves. Groves around the Copeland screen. Back to the top two. Parks, he'll pull the trigger. Bullseye! <laughs> he did it against NC State, and he does it here. Jordan Parks on the board from three-point range, 29-21. I say that because Eagles are red hot from three-point range to start this ball game. Murray in stride, takes the three, no good. Here's Holmes to Ingram to Parks. Parks float on the lane, good. And 7, 49, 15, 18 to go here in the ball game. Eagles up by eight. They run Weave around the top. Chapman on the top of the key pass to Parks. Parks from three. That's a big three-pointer. Jordan Parks, he, like I said, he doesn't get to take a lot of threes, but he can shoot it. Ingram takes a seat. Dante Holmes covers him now, takes his spot. Holmes standing on the Eagles beak, right side to Groves. Top they go, left side more or less in the seam to KJ. Here's Copeland to set a screen for Pooby. Pooby, three, short. Got the roll as it banks in, and Pooby holds up his shot, keeps the pose, and he's got 14. Uh, you know, I was disappointed with our defensive effort and intensity in the first half. We just gave them too many clean looks. They're a talented team. They take a lot of um, three-point shots, and they're capable of making them. So you can't do anything about that but allow them to shoot over an outstretch arm. But, you know, I, I jumped in Poopy a little bit because I was like, look, you're the leader. You know, this all starts with you and your body language, and, and your play has to become infectious. And he wasn't doing what he needed to do defensively. And over the course of four years, I can talk to him like that, and he responded. Well, Coach, you mentioned uh, being uh, a little bit disappointed defensively in the first half of the game. Well, tell us a little bit about how that changed in the second half as you were able to uh, hold them to 33% from the floor. Yeah, uh, I can't repeat what I said in the huddle. Um, but. <laughs> But, you know, sometimes you got to bring them in that huddle and, and, and let them know you're not too fond of our efforts right now. It's just it's about stops, man, and just having pride on the defensive end of the floor. They're kids, so, you know, the maturation isn't completely there. But our best games are when we defend and have a lot of pride and not allowing our man to score and just helping each other, being in gaps and finishing every possession with a rebound. Then we're out, able to get out and transition and, and lay the basketball up some. But, you know, it's, it's, we're still a work in progress, and by no means are we there yet. But, you know, we, we're, we're making strides in a positive direction. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, credit Coppin, you know, Fang is an incredible coach and, you know, their style of play is so difficult to guard, man, because they just spread you out, bounce you. It's, it's almost like playing against a pickup team, you know, and it's, it's hard, you know, throw your principles out the window. Our guys just had to defend the bounce, and, and we were just making uh, boneheaded plays on the defensive end, which allowed them to get going. And, you know, they showed you once you get going or you allow a man to get a layup and a free throw or open look, then, then you put yourself in a dangerous situation, and you, you got to tame that beast once you let him out the cage. We did that, uh, and, you know, we responded, and we made a run of our own to finish the game. Yeah, yeah. And they buy in. You know, we it's all about conviction, man. Um, whether you run in the triangle offense or whether you're going to be a gap team, a man team, whatever it is, you got to have conviction. And as a leader, you know, my job is to believe in it. They have to look me in my eyes and, and know that I believe, and then they have to believe, and that's all it is, is about. And, you know, right now they believe. They, they've been successful, and that's not a credit to me. That's a credit to the seniors that's, you know, starting to lead the team. Now, as the same way I'm praising them, they have to. It has to be a continuous process. You know, it, it just regardless, man. Just continue to defend. And and once we understand that, and I told them, look, winning basketball games, it, like that's not a lifetime membership. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to pay your dues every single night, man. You know, and and nobody gets in this club for free. You know, you got to pay to get in here in the club called winning. And and if we want to be in there, we got to pay our dues. Well, coach, you got uh, Morgan State coming in on. 
Oh man, they they're huge. They're they're grown men out there. You know, it's it's gonna be a physical game, and you know we got to go home right now. We got to rest and we got to respond because um, you know if I'm not mistaken, that may be for first place in the league right there. But you know, I got a lot of respect for Todd Bozeman. Um, he's a good friend of mine, and um, you know he's he's mentored me and gave me advice, and I steal from everyone. I steal advice and you know just knowledge and wisdom because those guys have been in it a long time. So uh, super guy. Uh, and done an outstanding job with his program. So, you know, we definitely have our hands full. A couple more questions. Uh, one, Jeremy Ingram, he had a good offensive performance today. What is it about him that allows him to be so explosive on the offensive side of the ball? Well, that's his gift. But he had it, those times where he was in his slump, did you see how he defended today? See, when you defend, good things happen. You know, he wasn't defending like that in, in his slump. He was going to the other end, pouting about, a shot not going in down here offensively. You can't control that basketball, man. It's, uh, it's, it, it comes and goes. You know, that's Kevin Durant. Sometimes he ain't got it. Some The best in the world, sometimes they just don't have it. But that don't mean you check out defensively. And he's bought in and he's, he's understanding now that I have to give a, a valiant effort on the defensive end of the floor because that just takes heart. And, and he's doing that and it's becoming infectious amongst our team. Uh, wearing sneakers today for yeah. coaches against cancer. You got yeah. some striped shoes on today. Yeah, about yeah, my Nike, man. I appreciate, you know, shout out to Nike, man. Lynn Merritt and Nico, and, you know, they they, they actually, Kobe's and uh, Kobe's rep, uh, Nico Harrison, good friend of mine, man. He sent me sent me these for coaches versus cancer. And I almost forgot it was coaches versus cancer, and I didn't open the box until I'm about to go. I was like, hey, these, these kind of crazy. So it went with the tie and everything. Everybody love them, man. The kids love them. But, you know, shout out to Nike. They just took care of me, man. Coach, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let me get one more, Coach, man. Can you give us a little bit of a scout report on Morgan State? Well, they're huge. They're huge, and they basically have a guard that's probably – he's Jeremy Ing Ingramish. Um, and Justin Black, heck of a basketball player, will be first team all conference. He scores the basketball really good, come from a historic program. I'm, I'm sure you guys are familiar with DeMatha. He played in high school with Victor Oladipo, so he, he's accustomed to winning. And, and it's, it's in his culture. And, and, you know, of course, they got the big kid in Childs. He's seven foot three. You know, uh, we don't have anyone seven foot three. So I got to go home and wreck my brain on how we're going to defend him and watch some tape on that. But uh, for the most part, you know, they're just solid all the way around and really well coached and, and tough. I mean, we have to box out, man, because they're going to crash the boards like, like a team that we haven't uh, played, you know, thus far. So we have to be prepared. Here's Chapman across the time stripe. 11.50 to go here in the first half. 15-13 if you're just tuning in. Here's a three-pointer in the far corner of the Charm City product. Dante Holmes with the three, it's 18-13. Here's Reggie Groves, the redshirt senior from Raleigh, off the screen, pulls up from 16, no good, but Dante Holmes, Johnny on the spot with a layup, he's got five against his Charm City foes. And so, good stop, and they can make it a 10-point lead here. Three right corner, Dante's Inferno, 10 points here in the first half, and the Eagles are up 32-21. Um, I just came out to play, my teammates, um, my energy was down in the first half. We had to pick it up. Me coming off the bench, that's my job, to uh, bring some energy to the team. You guys closed out strong in the second half, able to uh, continue to stretch out the lead. Uh, tell us a bit about what it was like to be out there on the floor and to be able to uh, control the floor in the state. Um, I felt like it was more of our defense in the second half. We picked the defensive test up and got us in transition, got some easy points, got us up with the score, and we uh, went up 20. You know, Coach Martin has a rotation where he can keep throwing bodies in. That doesn't seem to be a problem with a guy like yourself who, who probably could start mm -hmm. coming off the bench. Correct. Uh, I mean, I know I got a couple scenes on my team, and they put they um, pretty good guys. They could go as well. I'm just waiting on my chance. That's all. Mm -hmm. uh, when he called my number, I just get in and um, do what I got to do. Got another Baltimore squad coming up on Monday at Morgan State, man. You got to be amped about that one as well. Correct. Um, set. They undefeated. Um, we don't lose at home, so it's more pressure on us than anything. You know, we need this big win. Growing up in Baltimore was uh, Morgan State uh, or even Coppin State ever on your radar as far as a possible school? Um, yeah, they were. They were. Um, when I transferred out of, uh, from junior college, I was going to go to Morgan State to be back home with my family. But the best thing for me was to get out of town, go somewhere where I could um, start fresh. So I came to NCCU. Well, you said that the best thing is anything in particular you got in mind with that? Not anything in particular, just like um, 
a better environment, get away from all the negativity that's in that city. And I guess, you know, Baltimore, Carmelo had a big night the other night. You had a nice night tonight, man. This is all about Charm City right about uh, now. I want to say. I mean, I guess the hard work and the grind that come in that city will make you want to shine, so. Yeah, thank you. Uh, before you go, another quick question here. Your teammates have Jeremy Ingram, 24 points, 10 and 14, 7 assists. Uh, tell us a bit about what it's like to have them on the floor. To be honest, Poole, one of the best point guards I ever played with. Jeremy, one of the best scorers I ever seen play in this college level. And um, all I can do is just piggyback from them guys, take what, take their talents and try to make it to one of my and become a better player. Picked up loose change near side by Copeland. They get it to Houston. Houston, Lane takes it up strong. Reverse layup. Got that one to go. And the oohs and ahs come out from the room at Maroon and Gray Faithful. Defus, there's Armstrong with the runner. No good. Tip back. No good by Sterling Smith. KJ got the rebound. Crossover. KJ gets past Murray. Bounce pass to the right side to Houston. Houston takes it up all the way from the outside on the right wing. And Houston with four points. Fane Mitchell. Calling a timeout, not a happy camper right here. Good defensive style by the Eagles. Chapman very long on the shorter brick house. On the left corner, Houston to the baseline, cut off by Cephas, stripped from behind on the way up. But he finally got his loose paws. It just tipped up in the air. And Houston now in double figures here today. And the Eagles back up by eight. That's a, a good bucket to stem the tide a little bit. Um, I, I would say it was I was very comfortable out there with, uh, with my teammates. Um, we turned it up on defense. And, um, and that's one thing we pride ourselves on is defense. And once we turn that on, everything clicks. You mentioned defense. Uh, it's another game today that you guys were able to hold the team to four shooting night. Uh, what is it about this defense that makes it so tough? We all love each other and we all help each other. Um, we don't let each other get beat. When, when one get beat, we all get beat. So uh, we hold each other accountable and we help each other out extremely a lot. We love each other uh, to death. So we. We take pride on D. The defense is our heart, and that's like a stab in the heart when, once, once another team scores on us. Certainly, y'all scrap on the defensive end, Fonzo, man, but what strikes me about your game in particular is you throw your body around on the offense. Tell me about, you know, you attack so hard when you go to the rim, man. Um, Coach said that's my role on the team. Um, I'm a big body guard. Um, I just try to use my body to, to, to finish at the rim. Um, I just do, I just play my role on the court. That's all. My teammates give me the ball and my teammates want me to drive. Jump shots don't help us if I shoot them. Um, I leave that up to Jeremy Ingram and Dante Holmes. Um, I don't, and Pooby Chapman, I don't shoot threes. I, I, I get to that rim and throw my body around a little bit, get physical. Oh man, extremely excited. They undefeated. Um, we competing for first place right now. We don't lose at home, like Dante said. And we coming in with, with the mindset that we got to guard. That's it. Uh, we got to have a Valentine on defense, and that, that's what it is. We just got to guard, and we extremely excited. Welcome back to McDougal McClendon Gym. Eagles with a basketball, breaking the fast break in the trap by the Coppin State Eagles. And Jeremy Ingram in transition off the left side, drills the three. As in yours, shot clock now at 13. Houston with a basketball, Chapman left wing, 10 on the shot clock, kicks it into the corner to Ingram. Ingram pump fakes, lob pass back to Chapman, back with five on the shot clock to Houston. Houston three, two, right side three by Ingram. Nice shot, nice offense there is Ingram with 14 points on the afternoon. As Reggie Groves, who's back in, comes up with a loose change. There's a lob in the left corner to Ingram. Ingram pump fakes, foot on the line, it'll be a two. It's still good. And Jeremy Ingram with 24 points on the night. There's Cephas and Ingram going toe to toe. Good job by Ingram to slide his feet. Now Brickhouse right behind the back, 15 on the shot clock. Ingram doing a good job staying with him. Blocks him from behind and he goes out of bounds. See how many teams leading scorers willing to do that? And that's what Coach Moten talked about from that young man early in the year. You weren't getting it on both ends of the floor like that from him. Um, well, they came out with um, zone defense. You know, my teammates found me, and I knocked down some shots early, so I was feeling a little good. You know, my, like I said, my teammates get me involved, and, you know, I ended up with 24 points. It's not, it's not credited to me. I just knocked down an open shot. That's the least I could do. Man, I said, I said repetitively, like, he's – <laughs> He's a chemist with that ball, man. He he get the ball through seams that you wouldn't even think he would be able to get it through. 
he find people that's not even there. Like they don't even know they're there. The ball just land in their hands and it, they put it in the basket. And he's he can score the ball as well. A lot of people may not know that, but <laughs> in practice he 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 gets it in. Jerome, when you were in your shooting slump, I kept asking you about that. Now you seem to be breaking out. So I'm gonna give it right back to you, man. Is, is the slump is, is you think it's done? I mean, I to me as a like as a shooter, I never thought I was in a slump. You know, I was just missing shots. You know, like. Night in, night out, that happens. It's not going to fall, so you got to find other other things to do, like defense. So I've been trying to, you know, get better on the defensive end, lock up. You know, if I ain't hitting shots, my man's not going to hit these shot, shots either with the help of my teammates. So that's that. You, you have a lot of great moves on the floor. One of the moves I'm, I'm most impressed about is after you score, you can give me some of that. Talk me through that, man. What, what is that all about, man? <laughs> hey, man, I just go strong, and when I land, I land firm. So that's how I end up landing. So. That's my strong move. I like that. Is that the eagle? <laughs> yeah, that's the eagle right there, man. Appreciate it, baby. All right, thank you. All right, we're going. So, um, we've seen a different defensive journey today. Like, he's playing why you were so uh, excited on defense. Well, man, like you, like, you, like you say, like we say, we play a lot of defense, and I wanted to be the leader on that defensive end. And, they, you know, they were scoring. So I sat down, got a couple block shots. <laughs> it's done. It's done. All right, thank you. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, like I said, every game is a big one for the Eagles, man. Everybody's going to give us their all. So we got to come out with the same intensity as we come out every night. It's no, it's no different intensity. We're coming out with the with intentions to win. So that's what we're going to do.